Hi everyone, myself Dipanshu Alawat and you are watching my YouTube channel Short Circuit. Today we will learn how to make a AC switching circuit using triac. So here is the circuit. The main component of this circuit is a, a triac. These are the three terminals of triac. This is the main terminal 1, main terminal 2 and this is gate. Here we will connect our AC appliance, whatever we want to switch on or off. Uh, today we will be using a bulb, 100 watt bulb. And this is our power supply here, 220 volt AC. This is the simplest switching circuit using a triac. And this uh, triac is BT136. If we will connect these two points, then uh, our gate, the current will flow through the gate and our bulb will glow. And if we will not connect these two points, uh, our bulb will not glow, glow. This is just like a switching circuit. Uh, this is just like transistor switching circuit. But uh, as we know, transistor works only for DC. It doesn't work for AC. So for if you want to switch AC, then uh, a better option is a triac. Ja okay, cut, cut, cut. Now we will change the circuit slightly. Generally, we feel a need of uh, triggering our AC appliances using microcontroller. And microcontroller generally gives 5 volt. So now we will trigger the, we will make this bulb on or off using a battery of 5 volt. And for this, the circuit is, suppose this is our battery, 5 volt battery. And use the resistance here. Connect the ground to AC. And these are the main two switching terminals. If you will connect these two points, then uh, current will flow through the gate and our bulb will glow. And if we will not connect this, the bulb will not glow. It, it's simple. But uh, uh, there is a drawback of this circuit. If you uh, suppose uh, instead of this battery, we are using microcontroller. Suppose uh, this is our microcontroller. And from this microcontroller, and this is the ground here, we are uh, triggering this gate using our microcontroller. There is a chance that AC may flow back into uh, our microcontroller and if this will happen, our microcontroller will burn. Now we will change our circuit slightly and this time we will use a optocoupler IC here optocoupler IC and this IC will connect to the microcontroller. Our microcontroller will trigger this optocoupler IC and this optocoupler IC will trigger the gate and this gate will trigger our bulb. So this is how our circuit will work. So the main purpose of this optocoupler IC is to prevent the AC to flow back into our microcontroller so that our microcontroller will not burn because of the AC of this circuit. So let's uh, make this circuit on breadboard. Okay. Uh, this is the triac BT136. Connect it here. And this will be <coughs> the AC bulb which, which we will use as a test. Let's connect them. <coughs> Let me explain the pin configuration of this BT136. These two first terminal, this and this one. These two are the main terminals and this third one is the gate. So we will connect these main two terminals in series with the bulb. And this will be our power supply here. Okay. Now let's connect the 
other terminal of bus directly to power and the second main terminal of or gate to other terminal of or ac this is the optocoupler ic moc 3021 it's easily available in the market and uh, if you will talk about its pin configuration there is a dot on this corner so this is pin number 1 uh, we will connect our dc input on pin 1 and pin 2 pin 1 is anode we will connect positive term, uh, wire to this pin 1 and negative wire to pin 2 these two pins will be connected to our microcontroller and on the other side uh, on pin 6 and 4 we will connect our uh, gate so we will place this this is the pin 1 then pin 2 and this is pin 6 and this is pin 4 let's connect the pin 4 sorry pin 6 to ac using 1k resistor and then gate to pin 4 so in this way actually uh, current will come through this power supply then uh, to this bulb and from this bulb it will pass through our main terminal 1 and then main terminal 2 to the power supply and this wire is connected to the gate of triac from gate of the triac to pin 4 of this optocoupler ic now we will use this circuit actually in my next video i will show how to make this circuit it's a simple circuit to get 5 volt from ac without transformer in my next video i will show you how to make such circuit and uh, I thought I got a shock. This is my positive wire. So let's connect this here to pin one and pin two through one K resistor. Yeah, it's a simple circuit to get five volt. You can get five volt using a microcontroller also. So let's test this. Here we go. You can see the bulb is glowing, and if I will remove this five volt from here, bulb will off, turn off. This is the five volt power supply just, and if I will connect it here to pin one, again bulb will glow, and if I will remove this, bulb will not glow. Let me show you the voltage उस घर तो वो तार निकाल दियो उधर से जाओ चल start कर let's turn off the circuit on focus on the meter the meter the meter we are getting five volt here okay we are having five volts here and if you will connect this down to our, to the pin one of optocoupler on bulb glows and again we are having the 5 volt so it's a simple circuit how to trigger your ac appliances using 5 volt dc especially from microcontroller thank you for watching